All right, welcome everyone to the Owensboro Catholic Sports Network. We're here on a chilly Friday night as the Aces take on the Somerset Briar Jumpers here in the two-way semifinals. I'm joined by Nick Clemens. This is Ben Hardesty. We're going to have tonight's broadcast for you on a Black Friday, Nick. Yeah, it's a big game. Winner goes to the state championship game against either Mayfield or Beachwood. Uh, so it's going to be a knockdown drag out. Somerset comes in 10 and 3 with Coach Clay Clevenger. He used to be over at Henderson. Uh, Remember that name, yeah. Yeah, and uh, last week they beat Shelby Valley 56 to 20. They're averaging 38 points a game, giving up 16. They're a run heavy team, 2 to 1. 246 yards a game rushing, which is pretty dang good, and 114 passing. They're giving up about 127 running and 91 passing, uh, but they've not met anybody like the Aces when it comes to throwing the football. Uh, you know, the Aces come in 13 and 0, beat Green County last week, 50 to 18. I, I, I think it. It could have been just about whatever. Yeah, they could have. They probably could have picked their score. Uh, of course, they're averaging like 48 yards uh, points a game and only giving up 12. So, comparatively, you know, about the same as the Briar Jumpers of Somerset. We're uh, scoring a little bit more and holding right. people to a few less. The Aces are averaging 109 yards uh, rushing and 227 yards passing. And we'll All right. have the prayer here. Yep, quick. we'll do the prayer and the national anthem. We'll send it down to the public address announcer and the uh, marching aces. All right, we're back here at the Owens World Catholic Sports Network, and a nice prayer and national anthem done. And but I do realize that we are hearing some buzzing noises, and we're working on it uh, momentarily. As uh, before, we get under under underway here at Steel Stadium. Uh, Nick, what can you expect out of this contest tonight between the Briar Jumpers and the Aces? Well, it'll be a contrast of a few things, I think. Uh, they're going to try to keep the ball out of our hands, which they, you know, with their run game. Uh, with um, uh, Cam Hughes, senior. He's got 1,900 yards and 34 touchdowns on the year. Um, he's caught the ball 24 times and 255 yards and one touchdown. Got to control his yardage. We can't let him get, I think you it's know, these. seven yards of play. 
because he can he can break it too. He's got good speed. He's about 190 pounds. It looks like uh, about six foot six one. And if we can keep their running game and put them in passing situations, which we would prefer, I think. Uh, that would be the big thing. And, of course, the Aces just need to do what they do. Uh, you know, control the ball, don't make mistakes. That's a big thing tonight, too, Ben, uh, the, just the mistakes. Don't throw a bunch of – don't throw interceptions. Don't put the ball on the ground. Um, and we really haven't, for the most part, you know, he's only got – you know, six interceptions in 13 games. And uh, so, but on the uh, backside, Josh Brunner, the quarterback, 108 of 177. Uh, 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns, and only three interceptions. He ran the ball 57 times. He's going to control the game for long. Right. And, no, uh, because three interceptions, that's not – I don't think he's uh, laid the ball. He, I you know, really didn't see him put the ball on the ground uh, for the most part during the, you know, during the year in the field. So, and then Chris Hughes, uh, a junior, he's their leading receiver. He's got uh, 30. 111 yards and six touchdowns, and he's ran the ball 96 times for 714. Uh, the team, like I said, 246 yards a game rushing. Uh, the Aces need to, you know, try to get that in half. You know, they're going to get their runs. They they have a good offensive line. They do a lot of the same things Green County does. They pull people. You know, not every time, but they'll pull. Uh, a guard to guard or guard and a tackle. Yeah. And, you know, kick out and lead up. But most of the teams I saw them playing were playing like a 5 2. Uh, right. You know, just because they want all those defensive linemen up front because of Somerset's good run game. Right. I can't. Are you or are you talking about who? What the defense Somerset's running? No, oh, what the other people did to run Somerset. on Somerset. Yeah, you know they're saying throw know, on this me. This is just the old old coaching me. The thing is, they try to bring that tight end down on the linebacker, seal that off. Yeah, and then they kick the guy that's out. You know, not the defensive lineman, but like your outside linebacker. They'll try to kick him out. Because I think we'll step up if there's a tight end there. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'd almost put the guy on the inside shoulder of the tight end when you, there's a tight end. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Play there, and then he, he they'll try to kick him out maybe. And I don't know. They it, it, It's going to be an interesting game because they run the ball very, very well. They're, they do. They're like in the they're, top – uh, twenty in in the state in rushing foot football. Maybe yeah, even you know, top fifteen. If you like, you could. Ease, there's an easy comparison a, between them and Green County of last week. I, but I think they're better than Green County. And the oh reason, yeah, yes. Yeah. The reason I say there's that comparison is because they're very similar type teams. Real run heavy, but they have capable quarterbacks that'll get you, you know, a couple thousand yards and good receivers. and and some, you know. Good enough receivers that can make plays, and so the Aces uh, want to get them on throwing downs, make them get them on third and long, second and long, that type of deal, and, uh, and then I think you you like your chances. But uh, you know, first of all, it is a blackout here at Steel Stadium, and it's absolutely packed to the gills. I mean, yeah. there is one section over there that is remaining for the band, right? And, and that's it. Everything is taken. Yeah, and all the end down at the end zone by the scoreboard is, is uh, got a big crowd, and you know, for the most part, Somerset's got a, a decent decent crowd here. But number seven, Brady Atwell. Number nine, Chuck Carico. And number seventy-two, Matt.
So just some of the stats, some of the stats uh, for um, Somerset. Caden Samala, he's one of their other good receivers. He's got 29 catches and 374 yards and five touchdowns. And Isaiah Lewis, he's got four touchdowns for him. Um, but their their bread and butter is Cam Hughes. He's he's their main guy on running the football. Quarterback can run too. He'll keep it every once in a while, and that's kind of like one of those plays where you're thinking he's going. Uh, you know, everybody in the place thinks Cam Hughes is going to get it. Yeah, he pulls it and goes the other way with it. You may want to go over there. Let's go with the, you know, being the fourth game in the playoffs. Going to the uh, state championship, the Aces just got to control the ball and not turn it over. Yeah, and you uh, know, and and I think that's going to get the ball back. Yeah, that's a that's going to be the game plan for Somerset too, and I think that weighs more heavily on them than it does the Aces. Ball control for Somerset is going to be really big, and they can't turn the football over if they want to, you know, want to be able to put points on these Aces. They're gonna if they're gonna have these sustained drives like they like to do, then they got to score out of them. There's three big things for the Aces. Brady Atwell, Tuck Carrico, and Vince Carrico. Vince Carrico, yeah. And I don't think you have to take any type of uh, are they ready. No. There's no question. There, there's no question. That has to be so relieving as a coach to know that your your best players are always going to be ready. You know, and they're also your hardest workers. And everybody else sees how everybody hard they sees work. it. And they don't want to be the one that's not doing it. Right. And so they're they're ready to go. Yep. Well, talking about Brady, he's thrown the ball 337 times, completed 245 for 3,700 yards, 3,751 yards, 60 touchdowns. It's a lot of touchdowns, my man. Six interceptions. Completion rate, 73%. He's also the leading receiver, I mean, uh, runner for the Aces. Uh, 50 uh, runs for 565 yards and 12 touchdowns. So he's, you know, been involved in 72 touchdowns for the for the Aces. They don't have a whole lot of kids on their team. Uh, they got about 40. Yeah, they got a bunch of dudes going both both sides of the football, too. Does yeah, Somerset. they got about 40. And I think that's going to be an advantage to the Aces because you're not being asked to play both sides. Yeah, but the cooler weather, I think you can throw some a lot of that out the window. Uh, I think we'll see Brady a little bit more. I think you'll see him defense. take off and run with it Well, on, on offense. And then to your I point, think, defense, if it I gets into that situation. In, he does some really good things defensively. Mm-hmm. But he also does some things that he's not used to. You know, he's not out there like the, the, most of these guys have been all year. But he makes big plays every once in a while. Yes. You know, comes up and makes a tackle, you know, for a loss. So. Uh, and the Catholic think, stands are absolutely packed. Are we getting Holy the ball? cow. We do get the ball first. Uh, those that are listening on Mixler only, Catholics in a blackout. They have black tops, black bottoms with uh, white letters and numerals and a white helmet with the black or with the green OC. Somerset comes in. They're the Briar Jumpers. They have white tops, gold bottoms, gold helmets, trimmed in purple and white with uh, purple numerals and letters. Uh, numerals and, yeah, letters. There we go. All right, so Catholic is uh, back to receive. They won the toss. They want to play first. <clears throat> and they – Sometimes kick the ball real short and even squib it. So I'm interested to see what they do here with the. Uh, and they don't kick it real deep when they do. Yeah. But he's very good at placing the ball in holes. You know, even 15, I mean, 20, 25 yards. All right, so uh, Noah Reinerson and Tuck Carrico are back to receive for the Aces. It's a cold night, about 40 degrees here at Still Stadium, and I'm glad to see the uh, Aces side totally filled. It's great. And 
Somerset side. I haven't got a chance to – got to poke my head out the window and see what their attendance uh, looks it's like. It's about half over here. Yeah. Here's the kick. Fielded uh, at about the 28 by Reinerson. Reinerson jabs, now looking to reverse. Field breaks one tackle. Now head up and another one, and it will be tackled on the other side of the 35 where the Aces will have – other side of the 40, excuse me, where the Aces will have a pretty good field position. He came up to get that ball. That was good. They, Like I say, they're not going to kick it real deep. They haven't very, very rarely do this. He kick it real deep. New work, boys. All right, so first and 10 for the Aces at the at their own 42-yard line. They're going to play up pretty tight on, on the Aces receivers here. I uh, can't see who that running back is back there. Uh, Vince. That Vince, okay. Atwell looks right and got a quick hitch caught by uh, number six, Tuck Carrico, for a first down across. Oh, oh that was Evil Hair. Was it Evil Hair five? Yeah, eight, okay. that was Evil Hair. All right, so that ball, that pass moves it across midfield uh, to the, to the uh, Somerset 48-yard line, 47-yard line. Catholic's looking at a uh, new set of downs on that first play. Got the usual suspects in there at wide receiver and the line. Trips to the left side. Atwell looks right, throws that way, connects. This time to number nine. There's Tut. And Tut breaks one through. Oh, it almost And uh, knocked out of bounds late. Or it looks like he's taking that one to the house. That play was good enough for another Owensboro Catholic. 17 yards on it. First and 10 aces. And the aces will have the – Ball at the uh, Somerset 30. Handoff, Vince Carrico up the middle now. Drags a couple of briar jumpers Got and will get nine. nine on the carry. The and it'll be tackled right at the 21-yard line. Good job by the offensive line there, opening up a big hole for Vince. And Aces running tempo, quick to the line to get going. Atwell, uh, quarterback now, take off. Throwing out to his right, throws over top. And uh, just out of reach of Tut Carrico and incomplete. I and got third and short here. That'll stop the clock with 10.58 to play in the first quarter. Ace is looking at a third and one at the 21-yard line. Look for Atwell, or you got Vince in there, the heavy load running back. Third and one. They'll move uh, Vince. He'll stand to the left side of Atwell. Trips to the left as well. There's your first down by Atwell. Hanging on that football, young man. Still on his feet and down to uh, just shy of the – yeah, to the 10. He got about nine on that carry. All right, first and 10 at the 11. So a nice play call by uh, the Aces coaching staff. We're going to take off with it. Got trips to the left. Evil here by himself on the right. He could be open on a post. Vince in the backfield. Atwell throws and connects. Oh, just drops it by Tuck Carrico. Right to him. It was he a little it. low. Should have got it. I think he thought about running before he caught yeah. it. Yeah. That'll stop the clock with 10.26 to play in the first quarter. Catholic looking at a second and 10 at the Somerset 11. 0-0 zero, zero your score. This is the first possession of the game. Full receiver set, twins left and right. Atwell throws deep back in the pylon and cut. Touchdown, Aces. Who got that man? It was uh, Carrico. Tuck Carrico on the back right pylon for an 11 yard touchdown completion from Atwell to Tut at the 10 21 mark. And the Aces will get on the board first, six to nothing with a Garvin extra point. I'm pretty sure it was. I tut. think it was Tut too, but I, I can't I can't see couldn't see for certain. The kick is up and uh, good that away. Oof. With 10:21 to play in this first quarter, it's the Aces seven, Somerset zero. If you're listening on Mixler, we're going to go to a commercial break. If you're watching on the live stream, you won't hear anything. But we'll be right back, folks. On Sports Catholic Sports Network, both of them.
And we're back, folks. Aces on the opening kickoff uh, take that opening series uh, to the house and uh, on an 11-yard touchdown pass. We think it's Tuck Carrick on that far yeah, side. I, I think it's what. Uh, we tried to confirm it here in the press box, but nobody could see. It was so. It was on the opposite end of everybody. Uh, but Aces do get on the board first, 7 nothing. Kick by Garvin. And filled it shy of the 20 by one of the Hughes brothers, and he'll be tackled on the other side of the 30 where Somerset will have their first possession of the game. Uh, they got the, they have a set of brothers. One's a senior and one's a uh, sophomore. And the, uh, the older one is their, real, is their good running back. He's got almost 2,000 yards rushing. And the younger one uh, is their receiver. Number 17, Chris Hughes, is the – is yes. the uh, sophomore receiver, and then Cam Hughes is their senior running back. And then Chris, uh, Chris, uh, the uh, Josh, Josh Bruner, Bruner the junior, junior quarterback. quarterback. For He'll be in the gun. And hand off to Hughes. Hughes hit. Oh man, right at the line of scrimmage, and got splattered. Nothing doing there. Good job by Michael Lyons back yeah. in the in the. Yeah, uh, this is his first time playing this whole playoffs. Yeah, uh, and I know I talked to the coaching staff pregame, and they are happy to have him back. He is a difference maker on oh, that gosh. D line. He was all city, all I mean all area player for him, uh, along with quite a few other players yeah. out there. So the uh, short gang gives them a second and nine at their own 33. We're under 10 to play in the first. Aces lead seven to nothing. Here's Bruner. Bruner hand off to Hughes. Hughes trying to bounce it on the outside. Aces got it. Swallowed it up. up. Nothing doing. And that will bring up third and a long eight for the Briar Jumpers. Vince, Vince was in on that one there too. That's what. Here's what we need him, Ben, right here. Yeah. Make him throw it. Make him beat you with the throw. That's you know they're they're good, he's good uh, ball manager with the ball throwing the ball. Not it, many interceptions. Aces fans, it's but the, All right, nine oh five to play in the first. Aces up seven nothing. Somerset looking at a third and eight. You can loosen this defense up here because they, you know he's going to throw it. Yeah. You know. And uh, they're coming out with full receiver set, man in motion. Bruner, and that's a false start on Somerset. A little movement early, I believe. We'll see what that is. Guy turned up, I think. Did the uh, motion man turn up? I thought that uh, guard did. But, uh, so that'll – And he needs to report over here. But, yeah. False start against Somerset. So, a false start on Somerset. Takes him back to the 29-yard line. It'll be third and 13. Uh, that penalty will bump them back, makes it third and 13 at the 29-yard line, 8.40 to play in the first quarter. Aces up 7 nothing. You want them in throwing situations. Bruner, the quarterback. Bruner looking right and overthrows and a turnover. Well, it's going to bring up fourth down, I should say. We'll see if they come out and punt. You know, Green County was in this spot four time, three times last week, and they punted at the 27 three straight times. Or they went for it on the 27 uh, three straight times. you got to be times. aware here, their quarterback's the up back, and their uh, Cam Hughes, the, big, the good running back's their punter. So, you know, you got to always keep that in mind here too because they got their skill, best skill people with the punt. And, and there it is. Oh, it's nice. a nice heck of a punt. Fielded by Tud at his 30, and uh, Tud's trying to turn the corner. Heads up, hit, still on his feet, and thrown down, tried to dart out. Oh, shoot. No, I, might, I think they're saying he's down. Yeah, they're going to say he's down. Yeah, Somerset so wants him as a, as a fumble, but Tut, they're saying he's down, and Tut was down. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to like that call. Y'all can hear the displeasure. Yeah, he was, he was down. I thought he was down, too. Yeah. So Catholic will take over. Tut's got to be careful about trying to extend, just to go down with it. Because they're ripping at the ball. Yeah. You saw oh, two yeah. or three of them ripping at the ball there. All right, so a two-back set for the Aces. Atwell looks, throws, connects to Deuce Sims. Toss! And that ball fumble out of bounds. They're trying to go a hook and ladder. Deuce just needs to take that and turn up field. Yeah, yeah. That's going to bring it right back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, yeah. Ball 
No, it was a pass completed. Pass completed and then fumbled out of bounds. Uh, that's going to bring up second and ten. They just put it right back at the line of scrimmage. Atwell looks right and throws deep. And incomplete. Atwell was hit hard on that throw. Hung in there. And that's going to bring up third and ten with the clock stop. 8.01 to play in the first. Ace is up 7-0. Hey. Sims by himself. And Sims by himself. Tut on the flag. Yeah. Hey, yeah, the flag. Atwell throws the screen. Set up to Eli Blair. Blair hit. Still oh. feet. Mel got the first down. I think he did. Holy, oh, what a great extra effort by Eli Blair. He got, got exactly. Hit, got uh, spun on the guy hit him in low on the leg and he spun and got an extra four <laughs> yards on yeah. the first down. You know, and he got 11 and needed 10 on that one. That was awesome. Moved the ball across midfield. Here's Atwell under some pressure. Now rolling out to his right. They got him. He'll throw back to the middle of the oh, field. That was dangerous there. And incomplete. That was dangerous. Bring up second and ten. Yeah, throwing it back across the field like that. I thought 23 was going to get to it. Yeah, tough. 740 to play in the first. Clock stopped after that incompletion. All right, Cats. Ace is looking at a second and ten at the Somerset 46, leading 7 nothing. Atwell, handoff. Nice to Eli Blair, lowers her shoulder and pulls over a linebacker, takes it to the 35 for a gain of 11 on the play. And he's telling him about it. He <laughs> needs to shut him up. Uh, Pride grabbed him and said, get back in the yeah. backfield. That's a hard nose run by Eli Blair. Moves the sticks on a second and 10. Trips to the right, Atwell throws deep down the field. Got a guy open, caught by Tyke Carrico for a touchdown. Aces on a 35-yard seam route from uh, Brady Atwell oh, to Tyke Carrico. Flag. We have a flag on the play coming in late. <clears throat> the touchdown should be good, though. Did it come in after the? It's right at the one-yard line. At the touch, after the touchdown? And we'll see the kicking teams out there for the aces. And we'll see the, the announcer needs to report this way. Touchdown's good. good. After the play, unsportsmanlike, unsportsmanlike on the aces. Ouch. That, 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 not good. Yeah. Not good. I want to just holler and cheer that he scored. I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. But a huge, big-time 35-yard strike from Atwell to uh, Tuck Carrico. Garvin's kick is up and good. There you go. So 7-16 to play in the second quarter. Aces have jumped out to a 14-0 lead over Somerset. We'll take a break here on Mixler on the live stream. You won't see much or you won't hear anything, but we'll be right back to listen to our sponsors. Once World Catholic Sports Network. Welcome back, folks, here at the Owensville Catholic Sports Network. Aces lead 14 to nothing here in the first quarter, 7-16 to play. Aces had that 15-yard unsportsmanlike after they scored, which is why they bumped themselves all the way back, kicking off at the 25. 25. This should give uh, Somerset a short field. Yeah, it looks like the Hughes brothers are the ones back uh, deep for the uh, – Briar jumpers. Here comes the kickoff, and it's kick, going nice to be. Nice kick. It's a side-to-side -side spin. Oh, oh his knees, knees down. Knees Blow down. that down. 
He caught that with his knee his down. His knee was down, wasn't it? Aces coaches, I'm sure, are livid about that one. Well, I don't, I don't see him say anything, so it must have been up off the ground. Oh, I don't see how. That was as close as you can get without catching it with his knee on the ground. All right, so good field position for the Briar Jumpers at their own 48 with 7.08 left in the first quarter. Aces up 14 to nothing. I'd like to thank uh, Josh Henry up top as our camera guy and uh, Drew Hardesty from Wonder Boy Media for allowing this to happen. All right, uh, Somerset looking at a first and 10 at their own 48. Aces lead 14 nothing, 7.08 to play in the first. Bruner, your quarterback. Hughes in the backfield. That's Cam Hughes. Man in motion. They give it to the brother. Chris. Chris trying to turn up. Hit at midfield. Nothing doing. Man, a lot of – that was like a – car wreck that took place at midfield. We have a flag on the play sitting right in front of us at the 45-yard line. And it's going to be on the offense, it looks like. Yeah. And we'll see what it is officially. Against Somerset. A legal procedure. They've got to ha He's got to be doing the. Uh, the head judge is announcing the plays to the suites and not to the press box. And so we're having trouble seeing uh, what the motions are. Uh, but, anyways, that's a five yard penalty on Somerset. 7 1 to play in the first quarter. Catholic up 14 0. Here's uh, the Briar Jumpers handoff to. There you oh. go. And got him back, Bill. 58. Hughes tried to turn the corner. Big 58 for the Aces was all in that play. That was Cooper Danzer making a big time stop defensively. 57. Stops made by Cooper Danzer. He doesn't play. He hadn't played much. Uh, it must have been 57 then. Yeah. I thought that was uh, Barrett Evans. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good play by Barrett. All right, 624 and counting. Brings up a second and 16. So they lost a yard on that play. Aces have them in long throwing situations. Bruner, here's going to look to throw it. Throws off to the right side and overthrows his intended receiver in Chris Hughes. And that will bring up a third and 16 for Somerset with 609 to play in this first quarter. Third and 16 for the Jumpers. All right, third and 16 at their own 42-yard line, Aces 609. Pretty, see the, this long, we need to keep them in this yeah. long uh, third down. You know what they're going to do. It takes pressure off your Aces people up front down. knowing they have to tackle. Yeah. You, know, uh, you kind of keep them in front of you. This place is packed to the gills of Aces fans. All right, they have full receiver set Four for Somerset. Four seconds, he better get it snapped Two, off. He got one. it. one, here's Bruner. Uh, looking at, he's not quite in some trouble now. He's headed off to his right side. Miles Edge in pursuit. Uh, about seven. Yeah, got about seven or eight. It's going to bring up fourth and nine for uh, Somerset. We'll see if they go for it. Ball's right at midfield. Looks like they're going to go. Nope, here they go punt. They're going to try to back up the aces here. But I'd be watching, you know, playing for the fake. They're good runners, the punter here. Yeah. Uh, Cam Hughes and their quarterback's up back. So. <laughs> punt, high punt, nice. nice punt by Hughes. Will go out of bounds at about the 22-yard line or so. That's where the Aces are going to take and over. the Aces will take over right there. 519 left here in the first quarter. Aces. Aces are up 14 to nothing here. Uh, this is a, since it's a semifinal, this is a statewide crew. So they pull guys from all over the state, all 16 regions. They started basically. that last week. Yeah. But, but this crew was played or called the game together. Correct. Last, last so they week. Have, and they just stay till they get maybe a championship. You're game. right. And there's no local affiliation. All right. Atwell 
Motions out, edge at what looks like. Now sets up a wide receiver screen to Reinerson who got blew up, blown up rather. And uh, for a short gain of about a yard, will bring up second and nine for the Aces. Nice play by number 23 there. Uh, Austin Lawless. He's one of their top two tacklers. Second and nine at the 23. Four-yard line. Atwell on the design run. Now darts up the middle. And a lot of running room off the right side. Gets through Somerset hand tackles. Still on his feet. And brought down deep into Aces or Somerset territory. Shot of the 30 for a big-time gain for the Aces. Catholic saw something there. And then Atwell made a big play. And that's going to bring up first and ten. Right at the 31-yard line with 4.30 to play in his first quarter. About 45 yards on that run. Edge in the backfield. You have trips to the left. Atwell has time. Throws deep and might be intercepted. Ty goes to the touchdown aces. Holy cow. It looked like two dudes caught it at the same time. I'm not sure it's completely opposite end of us. But offensively, it goes to the Evil offensive there. player. And that's a 31 touchdown play. Holy cow, what a great catch. What a great catch. Yeah, they, they, they both lock, uh, locked on to it. And if, it's, if they come down with it, they are chest to chest with yeah. it. Tough. Garvin, extra point is up and good. That away. 418 to play in the first. It's the Aces 21. Somerset zero. From my end, I thought it was an interception because it was slightly underthrown. Oh, yeah, I thought he was going to intercept it. Yeah. Evil hair just said, I want to. Yeah, you know, and that's something that you you saw his the leaders of this team do that all year. And uh, you know, and again, way away from us, about as far as you can get from yeah, us. In the end zone. And so we don't know what happened, but something happened when both guys came down. That referee standing just feet away from the play. Oh yeah, he was right on the play. Saw it, made the call as a touchdown. There's, I can't, I can't confirm nor deny if that if it was a good call. I'm taking it as an outstanding call, but whether or not it was controversial, I don't know. It was opposite end of us. Uh, but it puts the Aces up three scores at 21 to nothing with 418 to play in the first quarter. That's just the Aces, you know, seeing the other guys battle for it. I think it was Ebel Hare. Yes, you're right. It's seeing other people following, emulating that. And that's good to see that from the junior there. He's. Only junior receiver on that starting crew. Yep. Garvin kick. Nice one. Uh, filled it by Hughes at the 15. Oh, he's got some Head of steam. Look at him go. Oh, and a, game, or a touchdown saving tackle by Cam Woodward. Well, the guy's probably taking it to the house. Yep. Right at the 40-yard line was where he was tackled. A great job getting around the legs of Hughes. And it saves the aces a touchdown. Let's see how they – you watch your defense on these, you know, first and second downs, how they going – how they – but they might start throwing the ball more. That's what I'm saying. A play action would do a lot of good for Somerset. You so know, you, you get that how they got, up like, under center Look how many they got in the box. Up under center, and they give it to the initial running back that's off the right side, the brother, Chris yeah, Hughes. That, yeah. And Chris gets two on the carry. They tried that quick hit, or that's usually a goal line play they use. Yeah. Uh, but you saw how many's in the box there. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. There they had eight in the box. It was, ba- it, looked, it was basically, like you said, a goal line offense, a goal line defense is yeah. out there. All right, second and eight at the Somerset 45. See, they'll keep it right here. Aces up 21 nothing at 330 mark. Handoff. Oh. Big hit. Big stop. I couldn't and see bring who up. it was over Vince. No, Tut. Tut made that tackle. And uh, that's going to bring up third and six for 
Somerset. What I say before the game, what we want to keep them in. Passing down. You third, want third and long. Five or six. Yeah. Or, or longer. All right, just going to bring up third and long for Somerset. See, They're here, at their own 47. Where you gotta watch out where they'll pull that on play action. Right, so they've done it twice. There's oh. a toss left. Aces have it red and nothing doing. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Well done, Miles Edge and uh, Barrett Evans on that play. Oh. And we got a player down for Somerset. Oh. And that's going to bring up four down. And a guy down. Yeah, and so uh, we'll take an official's uh, injury timeout with 2.49 to play. Uh, Aces up 21 nothing. We'll be right back on World Catholic Sports Network. Welcome back to the Owensboro Catholic Sports Network. Good to see the young man coming up uh, under on his, his own feet. power, on his own. Un yeah, you know, nice to see. Hopefully it's, you know, something like getting air knocked out or something where he can get back out there and play for them. I'd hate for it to be anything worse. Uh, uh, I'm trying to see who they're going to put in at running back here. It's not his brother. It's somebody well, else, but it's four. They're going for it on fourth and six. Maybe trying to hard count the yeah, aces. He might get punt it because he's their punter, uh, yeah. backup punter. And there it is. Nice uh, little punt's going to take a good uh, briar jumper roll. Tut's got a fall on it, picks it up, and will be swallowed at about the six, six or seven yard line. And that's probably where they would have downed that punt had he not picked it yeah, up. Yeah, it so. was going to roll yeah. pretty good there. Aces have a long field in front of them. 2.29 to play in the first quarter. Catholic leads 21 to nothing. This is All their right, fourth they got possession. Vince in the backfield here. Let's see if they get a little running game going uh, down here. Try to pull it out of that the end zone there. Hard count by Atwell. And they may have got the hard count. False start. Ah, oh, on the Aces. So it was the Aces that jumped on that one. And that'll push them Catholic back deep into their own end zone now on a false start. The oh, uh, they got a new uh, free safety in there. Oh, he's coming. He's, he's coming back in. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good to see. So uh, Catholic looking at a first at 15 at their own two yard line after a a punt and then a false start penalty. Atwell handoff to Vi I think that's Vance Carico. And uh, he gets across the five for a little bit of breathing room for the Aces. Got about five, I think, didn't he? Yeah. Get up, young man. There you go. Yep. So got five on the carry. He's going to bring up first and ten now, or second and ten for the Aces. Back to that original line of scrimmage. Gives him a little more room there. Staying at his goal line. Coming blitz that off the right side. Back. Vince picks it up. Out. Throws connects to Warren Ebel here. Sheds his prior jumper he and would probably mask. get a face mask, and yeah. that'll add on to it. Yeah, they nice. All the way to the 35 so for a gain of 30. 30 yards. Yeah. Oh, so it's play. Oh, it was about the seven, so. 28 on the. So it's, I think it's a face mask on Somerset. But we'll okay, see. So he was at the seven. Yeah. So we got to. Got 28 on the play. And then another 15. 
and that'll push the aces forward. And there were several referees that saw that one. That wasn't just one dude. And so that's going to bring it all the way to midfield or just shy of it. So a good uh, deep post route by uh, Warren Ebelhair and a nice find. Matt Well, it's going to bring up first and 10 at the Aces 49 yard line. They're on 49. Oh, well, now they're going to a two deep. That's Now we got this out here Should wide be open. open. There it is. There it is. Tud on the screen. Sheds one, falls forward, and gets uh, three. three on the reception. They're pretty quick to the ball, too. Uh, Mayfield's up 14 to seven in the first quarter. Up, oh, Frick is in over there for uh, man in motion. Reiner, evil hair. Atwell looks to throw deep. Instead, throws it uh, to Frick. Frick sidesteps, headed down the sideline and uh, out of bounds. Got about 12 or 13. Yeah. So down to the 36. So got 11 on the play. And another first down for the Aces. Minute four to play in the first. Aces up 21 to nothing. Driving on Somerset, first and 10 at the Briar Jumper 36 yard line. I hope Evil Harris all right. Design run by Atwell, balling over. My guy, he's dragging Briar Jumpers and gets about four on the carry. About four yards, and it was a hard earn. It yeah, was it sure dead was. at the line of scrimmage, and he just kept bowling forward. Uh, coming on 40 seconds to play in the first quarter. 21 to nothing, the Aces lead. First, second and six at the Somerset 32. Atwell. Looks left, now throws right, sets up a wide receiver screen. Caught it for the first down by Frick, and... Right down at the 25, looks like a gain of seven on the play, and, but it would be enough for a first down. What was that for, seven yards? Seven. First and ten aces. All right. Not afraid to go to Frick here. Got uh, Blair in the backfield with Atwell. Atwell looks left. Uh, throw deep towards the end zone and caught. For a touchdown by Tuck Carrico for a 25-yard touchdown strike. And there's that connection again, Nick. Yeah, they can only hope to contain him. Number nine's trying to cover him there and uh, with no, no luck there. Three seconds is to go in that first quarter is when that score took place. Aces up 27-0, looking for a Garvin extra point. Garvin kick is up and good is the signal. So with three seconds to play, the Aces up four scores, 28 to nothing. We'll stay here. I'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Bullet Home Solutions, Consolidated Mechanical, Bluegrass Home Inspections, Katie Goins from Edward Jones, Town Square Animal Hospital, Dr. John Hammond of the Owensboro Center for Oral and Maxial Facial Surgery, Ohio Valley Insurance, Cottage Wealth Advisors, Triple Crown Realty Group, uh, Robert Edge from Farm Bureau, 323 Staffing, Donato, Chamois, Tropical Smoothie. All right, Catholic up four touchdowns. Nick, 28 to nothing. Look good moving the football. Oh, they're looking awesome. Uh, they, they're just not being denied anything they do. Running the ball pretty well, too, for us. Uh, and uh, just trying to see if uh, – I'm trying to see Evil Hair over there, make sure he's okay. As uh, Frick came in, in after he got you know, that face and, mask. And made some plays, too. Oh, yeah. Garvin sets the kickoff for the Aces. Deep for the jumpers. 13 Hughes. Gets it down to the 17 Hughes. I'd squib this again. Or squib this. Just don't give him a chance to return it. All right. Kick towards the sideline. Fielded at the 15. And, ooh, headed down the – and caught up to him from behind and pushed out of bounds at around the 40. So he tried to squirt out of there. That's yeah. two of them where uh, the Aces have had to reel them in. 
you can't let those those two guys back there break at any time. At the end of the first period, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that's your score after one. It's all aces in that first quarter. Catholic 28, Somerset 0. We'll come back for the second quarter. Owensboro Catholic Sports Network. We're back here at Steel Stadium in the 2A semifinals. Here's Somerset. They fake that handoff, throwing deep as Burner off the right side and picked, almost picked off. Almost picked off by Kaiser Frick. He might have even taken that one to the house. Yeah, he might have been a pick six there. Man, that looked like uh, looked like me on Thanksgiving. Eyes bigger than my stomach yeah. on that one. <laughs> All right. And uh, his eyes were big as and saucers. And they almost took him out to play before, I mean, that play because uh, uh, Reinerson was coming out and Frick was going, I mean, going out and he was coming in. He told him then, to stay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, Brunner, hand off to uh, Hughes. Hughes hit and uh, about gets about four on the carry. And that's Cam Hughes, number 13, running back, senior for Back in the Somerset. game, which is good to see. Yes. After getting shook up. He, I think he just got shook up a little bit. Bruner comes to the sideline, gets the coach, or gets the play from the coach. Catholic uh, Somerset has a third and six at their own 42, under 11 and a half to play in the second. Here comes a blitz. Vince on the – and is that big Ben Evans on the tackle. For a battle for a loss. loss. Well done. Young fella, and a big third down loss for Somerset. Huge play by the Aces defense. They were coming, too. They sure were. They had uh, Vince coming, and just uh, they had so 10, 58, and counting here in the second quarter. Aces up 28 to nothing. Uh, Cam Hughes back to punt. Nice. nice punt. That, nice. Kid, that kid punts wonderfully. Fielded by Tud at about the 21, trying to sidestep some and just got to get down. Breaks out of a few. Spins out of another one. Still on his feet, and he's tripped up at the 30. Man, a, great a lot of theatrics there and got 10 on the return. <clears throat> great punt by, by Hughes and even a better return by – Tuck Carico. All right, here come the Aces. Up 28 to nothing, 10-31 to play in the second quarter. We're here in the State 2A semifinals. Winner yeah. of this ball game moves on to Kroger Field. Something's, something's up with uh, with Evil Hair. Yeah. I'm trying to find him over. I haven't been able to find him. And here's Atwell. Atwell rolls out to his right side looking to connect. Now he, he waited too long. He just had to take off with it. And tripped and thrown out of bounds or pushed out of bounds at about the 40. Hey, may have got a 10-yard run. Got 12 on the carry. Man, actually got 13 yards on the carry after they finally spotted it. <laughs> Atwell rolled out to his left. Connects this time to Deuce Sims, who ran backwards a little bit. Trying to turn around and get the edge, but instead falls forward, gets to right at midfield for a gain of seven on the reception. And Catholic will be looking at a second and three with 10.05 to play in the second, leading 28 to nothing. I you, give the ball to uh, Edge here, see if he can squirt through there. 
And oh, there it is, the edge. Nicely done. And uh, got, gets down. the first down. Gets five on the carry. Uh, cross midfield fully all the way to the Somerset 45. That run, I mean, pass is keeping them off balance. Honest, yeah. We can run the ball a little bit. And the offensive line's doing a great yes, job. Yes, they are. Offensive line's been sensational. All right. Atwell connects this time. Do Sims, man. Ah. He uh, tried to catch it two times, and when he went for it after bobbling it the first, it sailed uh, over him and the corner and out of bounds. Bring up second and ten. It stops the clock at 9.37 to play in the second quarter with the Aces up 28 to nothing. Looking at a second and ten at the Somerset 45. Man in motion is Reinerson. Reinerson. Undelayed handoff, fumbled, and a turnover, aces. Yeah, there was some – the timing was messed up on all of that. Yeah, and they were coming. Yeah. So they'll take over at their own 46-yard line. Uh, you want to play clean football, come on. So they had a motion man, and then it looked like – it was almost like an RPO because he was trying to decide if he wanted to – Pull it pull it or not and uh and they they were coming though there, yeah. were, there was people there at the handoff yeah there was that was good defense by somerset right at the line of scrimmage and the aces turn it over somerset takes over first and 10 at their own 46 handoff oh man a reverse set up oh it could be intercepted and it oh man we've dropped two interceptions cam woodward on this one kaiser freak dropped the first one aces secondary was not fooled at all on the trickery by Somerset. Double reverse toss pass, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Aces had it covered, though. They were right sure on did. They had two people back there. Cam was back there, and so was – And Frick uh, was back there. Yep. All right. Uh, stops the clock. 9.26 to play in the half. Aces up 28 to nothing. Somerset looking at a second and 10 at their own 46. Mayfield leads 21 to 7 with 6:50 to play in the second or in the first quarter. Mayfield up on Beachwood 21 to 7. And a keeper Bruner will have it up the middle across midfield and a nice couple of tackles by Blair. And that's been their best probably their best run play all night. Yeah, he's got two runs for 7 yards. That's going to bring up third and 3. 905 and counting. Again, like to thank Drew Hardesty from Wonder Boy Media, Josh Henry for filming this for us, and all of our sponsors. Big third down. They're throwing the ball. Yeah. No. Nope. And Hughes. First down. And has the first down and just a touch more gets maybe five on the carry, and that might be their first first down of the game. Eight thirty-eight to play in the first half. Aces up twenty-eight to nothing. Somerset in Aces territory. A first and ten at the Catholic forty-two. Nice hard run by uh, Cam Hughes there. Kept it moving. <laughs> Giving it. All oh, right, go pull it. Bruner in some trouble. Throws connects. And the aces are all over it. That was connected to Grayson Gulak. Or, I'm sorry, that was Chaz Reams. Got and, about uh, gets, four. Yeah. Four First on the First completion reception. of the game for him. Mm -hmm. I thought we were going to get to him. I did, too. He did a good job of pocket awareness rolling out to his left. Gave him just enough time. If he stood there, we got him. Yeah. Uh, second. And seven, it's probably a long three, or second and a long six, I might say. Um, coming on seven and a half to play in the second quarter. He was offside. And we might Cam, have a – Cam was lined up offside. Cam Woodward. Yeah. Or, or, uh, yeah. Okay. He was, he was in the neutral zone. Offsides on the defense. Tight coverage on the receiver, and he was in. Yeah. Uh, offsides, neutral zone infraction on the aces. We'll move the ball 
uh, shy of the first down marker. It'll be second and one for Somerset. Seven and a half to play in the second quarter. Aces lead 28 to nothing. Cam but, just was – he was wanting to come up and play that man bump, and he was right in the neutral zone. I, I knew he was. I could see it. This has the, uh, been the best drive so far by Somerset. Handoff faked. Brunner has it. Now he's got a seam. Hit. A first down and brought to the 24 for a gain of nine on the run. Stop made by Woodward. Ball's on the 24-yard line. First and 10 in Somerset. <clears throat> nice, nice play by Bruner there. First and 10 at the Aces 24. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Aces lead 28 to nothing. Here's Somerset on the best drive uh, of the game for them so far. Bruner looks left, connects, and uh, not much yards after catch, but he does reel it in. For a gain of, Sue, he's still moving. A uh, gain of six on the play. Who did he hit on that? Number two. I think so. I couldn't. I think it was Lewis. He got. All right. Under six and a half to play in a half. Catholic up 28 to nothing. Here's Somerset looking at a second and four inside the Aces red zone at the 18. Hand off to Cam. Oh, that was a Hughes. Hold. A big time hold by 58, but they missed it. Hughes going in for a touchdown Somerset. That, he held our, he held uh, big time over there. Yeah, and that's an 18 yard touchdown run by Cam Hughes. I thought big number 58 for Somerset's old line held like crazy, but uh, the flag didn't come out. And Somerset gets on the board the first time after the Aces turn the ball over right near midfield. And uh, we'll see if they kick it. Kick is up. Ooh, almost blocked. And good. 6-14 to play. In the half, Somerset gets on the board. Aces lead 28 to 7. We'll take a break if you're remember this is a Mixler YouTube combination. Yeah. So those that are just listening on Mixler are going to hear commercials. When I turn the volume down, you're not going to hear anything on YouTube till we come back from Mixler. We'll be right back on Sport Catholic Sports Network. Welcome back to Steel Stadium. Aces fumbled it on their last series, and then uh, Somerset drove down the field and and uh, ran one in from 18 yards by Cam Hughes. <coughs> Kick fielded at the 30. Just get down, Ronerson. There you go. And a no return by Noah Ronerson, and the Aces will take over right at the 31-yard line. Uh, Mayfield leads Beachwood 21 to 14 in the second quarter, and Bowling Green is up on Owensboro 17 to nothing in the second quarter. We're here in the second quarter of our semifinal game, where the Aces lead 28 to seven over Somerset, looking to um, make up for that turnover in yeah, the last series. They took advantage of it. A tight twins right side. Here's Atwell on a design keeper. Atwell. Thrown forward and may have lost a yard or right at the line of scrimmage. Yep, no gain on the carry. Sorry, sorry. Second and 10 for the Aces, 5.45 to play in the second quarter. Tight twins. They set it up once with a run. Now they'll probably look to throw, and they do. Connect wide open to Tut. Tut. Tackled shy of the 40 for a gain of about eight on the carry. 
And that's going to bring up a third and, and two for the Aces right at the uh, Aces 39. Vince Carrico, the running back, trips to the left. And uh, nice here's a first block. down. Good job. Still on his feet across midfield. Dragging Somerset defenders in a big third yard, third down run by Brady Atwell. Th uh, 13 on the carry. And at the 49 of uh, Somerset here. Yeah, good run. Nice play call by the Aces coaches. Good execution. Great blocking Great by the block offensive by line Vince and Vince. Here comes a blitz off the left side by Somerset. Atwell got to throw where that blitz came from. In some trouble. Goes over the middle. Connects to Tuck Carrico for a first down and some sidestepping defenders and tackled inside the 25 down to the 24-yard line for a gain of 25 on the play. And Tuck came up hobbling. And uh, Tut's hobbling. You do not want to see that. Walk that off. Come on. Walk that off. You're good. We got a timeout on the field. Tut Carrico having to be carried off. And he's able to put some pressure on it. Uh, he makes a big time 25 yard play. And good job by Atwell standing in the pocket as it was closing in on him. Nowhere to scramble. He waited for his star receiver to get open, and he does. Onan comes into the game. So no Ebel Hare and no Tuck Carrico right now. Ugh. Uh, your receivers are um, Sims, Reinerson, Frick, and Onan. In the backfield is Edge to the left of Atwell. Atwell rolling out to his left. He has Sims if he wants to. Throws deep to the back of the end zone for Reinerson oh. and over his head and incomplete. And that will stop the clock at 419. Aces up 28 to 7. Second and 10 at the Somerset 24-yard line. Come on. I think we can get. And there's Tut back out there. Good deal. Uh, uh, back out of the backfield here, too. They're dropping almost like a, you know, they, they're just leaving everything in front of them. Uh, yeah, just playing some zone maybe even. Atwell, here comes the blitz. Connected to Frick. Frick has a lot of running room up the middle. Needs to make a miss on the safety. And is tackled on the other side of the sticks for a gain of 12 on the play. And a good second down play. Gives them 12. And ball will be down right at the 12. And here's the Aces quickly to the line of scrimmage, ready to go. Atwell looks left, connects or tries to to Reinerson, makes a tough catch right at his knees as he turned around. The ball met him, seven. and that's a gain of about seven on the reception, and the ball will be shy of the five-yard line. And Eli Blair's in the backfield. You might look at a run here by Blair or to the back out of the backfield, Nick. Here, yeah. Normally do it here. Man in motion is Reinerson. Hand off to Atwell. At, or uh, snap to Atwell. Atwell has a little bit of running room, tries to dart forward and dive to the goal line. But they're going to say shove the goal line down at the one. Got the first down, but uh, yeah. what got did he get first about down. nine? Oh, no, he got six down to the one. First and go under center is Atwell looking for a push. Bounces off to his left and into the end zone for a touchdown. Brady Atwell on a one-yard touchdown plunge. And Aces get that goal back or that score back that uh, Somerset ran in for. And it's now 34-7 to looking at a, fr or a Garvin extra point. Good answer for the Aces. Yeah. And I wonder if Tuttle will play any defense on this next series. 319 to go in the second half or in the second quarter. Second quarter. Eaves the snap, frick the hold, Garvin the kick. And uh, some movement on the left, left end. Side. Man, and then some should be a flag after the play, too. False start on that far left end. Yeah, number 19 for the Aces, I think, jumped on mm -hmm. or moved a little bit.
Well, let's see. We can get this up through the uprights here. All right. Garvin. His kick is up and looks good. And it is nicely done. And with 319 to play in this second quarter, Aces 35, Somerset 7. This is a big time opportunity now for Somerset because they if they score here, they also get the ball back to start the third quarter. You looking at an opportunity for 14 points to get back into this thing. So the Aces need to strap it in and uh, buckle down and get a stop here, stymie any momentum going into the half. Yeah, on that t on their touchdown run, they they held uh, Lions. Oh, they big sure time. did. You know they're going to need to get down the field running the football. I, I'm, I'm sure they've got plays That's where they can. That's his job right there is to, uh, you know, push him out. That corner, take that corner. Yeah. You know, they Som blocked it well and got he got outside. Somerset did throw it twice on their last series and could have should have been intercepted on two different occasions, uh, but instead. It went in uh, for the end zone after an 18-yard run. So Catholic had chances to stop them in the passing game but didn't take advantage, and then Somerset hurt them on the ground. All right, Garvin to kick off. See if we can get a big stop or a turnover here. Yeah. Ball's headed towards the sideline, filled it at the 15. Ooh, made one miss, and there's a nice running lane. Reinerson breaks down, and the ball's returned all the way to the 45. For Hughes. And a nice return. Aces return defense hasn't been very good. That, Somerset's actually had a really good return. Yeah, good returns and good return blocking by them. And so they'll have a short field looking at 55 yards to the end zone with 311 to play in this uh, second quarter. Aces up 35-7. to seven. I think they'll just stay with their game plan, mm -hmm. run it. Run it, Run it and have three timeouts. Yeah. Last thing they want is to give the ball to the Aces with a chance to score before the half. They want the ball and no clock left. Here's Bruner. Bruner, a quick out and dropped by Chris Hughes. Bruner's pass is incomplete. That'll bring up second and ten. Look at them. Well, they might run it here and see if they can get a catch us off guard. In the second quarter, Mayfield leads 21 to 14 over Beachwood, and Owensboro's down 24 to nothing in the second to Bowling Green. Fake. Brenner in some trouble. Now that man reverses field. Michael Lyon in on the tackle. No, I think it was the 52. Oh, it was 52. Good job. And uh, Aces get a big stop and put them in a third and long situation. Clock's running. We got three timeouts. Yeah. I would use one here. Third and uh, the Aces had that quick strike. They might try to save it for their own series if they can't get a stop here. Yeah. They're going to be down to about 2.15 here. All right. Under two and a half. Clock ticking. Uh, Somerset looking at a third and 11 at their own 44. Man in motion is Hughes and a false start on the Briar Jumpers. Yep, and that'll push them back five yards. <laughs> and the uh, Briar Jumper faithful, not very happy right now. About third and 16, 2.15 to go in this half. Aces up 35 to 7. Catholic in a, I mean, they have a lot they of. turned up too soon, I thought. Here's Bruner throwing deep. Man, it's a wobbler. Intercepted by Frick. There you go. And he was just waiting for it to come down to him. And uh, Frick gets that interception he was looking for earlier. And, and Catholic gets the turnover. Will have the ball at their at their own 35. Just got way too much air on it. Oh, the, yeah. wind, the wind has kicked up here a bit. 
it's blowing into their face right here. Yeah, you can see the flags moving a little bit off to our left. Uh, Catholic will take over after the interception, so both teams have a turnover. <clears throat> All right. Atwell is looking right, throws in that direction, connects to Tut Carico. Tut runs out of bounds nice. at the 43-yard line for a gain of eight on the play. And that stops the clock with a minute 52 to go in the quarter. Smart move, getting out of bounds. Got the eight yards. Trips to the left. Vince Carico, your running back in the backfield. Atwell it's open. has time and connects to Deuce Sims. Sims looking to shed defenders thrown down on the other side of the 25 for a gain of about, uh, we think, 32. 32. Nice play there. Yeah, really it was. Nice play. Good job connected with Deuce Sims on that one and tight trips left formation. Atwell looked to throw the back out of the field and oh. there, incomplete. And uh, that'll stop the clock. Probably just one of those where you throw it at his shoes and then you live to play, live yeah, on to play the they, next play. He was covered play. there, too. Stops the clock with a minute 26 to go in the second quarter. Aces up 35 to 7, looking at a second and 10 at the Somerset 24 yard line. Atwell is looking left, goes through his progressions, connects to Reinerson for a first down and pushed out of bounds right at the sticks. Uh, down at the 14 is what it looks like. And we'll see if that's enough for a first, if they'll move, the, move it or not. Uh, or. He got just that 10. Yeah. All right. Atwell. Looking. Oh, Blair. Now on the wheel route, has him. Oh, oh, couldn't reel it in. Nice attempt by Blair to get it. it. Sure was, it was man. Long. He, he laid out trying to pull that. You thing know, and in. it's a great route and a great throw, just slightly overthrown by Blair out of the backfield. Great play. Stops the clock with a minute yeah, 14. It was a wheel route out of the uh, out of the backfield by Blair. Man in motion is. Reinerson, Atwell looks towards the motion man, now throws back to the back pylon, has a wide open Tut Carico for a touchdown. Aces on an Atwell, Tut Carico touchdown. Makes it 41 to seven and the Aces are looking to go for two to get that running clock. Good job, good connection. Nice find and a great route by uh, Tut, and look at him right here, too, in that slot spot on the tight twins. There he is, man in motion. They toss to him, looking to jump in there, diving forward, skirting for the goal line, and just shy is Tut by about a yard or so. So with a minute nine to play in the, in the second quarter, it's the Aces 41, Somerset 7. Uh, we'll take a quick break here on Mixler on YouTube feed. You won't hear anything until we come back from our commercial break on Mixler. Uh, minute nine to play. Aces up 41-7. to North World Catholic Sports Network. All right, coming out of that uh, timeout, Aces got a good score um, and uh, tried to go for the two-point conversion and get in Tuck Carico on just a almost like a jet toss. <laughs> Not much of a sweep, but a toss, and he came up short. Kick 
headed towards the sideline and out of bounds, and the Aces uh, kick it out, and they'll get a penalty on the return. OHS is down 24 to nothing to Bowling Green at halftime, and Mayfield is up 28-14 on Beachwood, closing in on halftime. So Mayfield's up two scores down in Mayfield. Beachwood had a five-hour or probably about a six-hour bus drive from uh, Fort Mitchell, Kentucky to Mayfield. That's a heck of a drive. And then you got to think Covington Catholic had to go to Paducah-Tillman, which is uh, about the same area and yeah. a long drive for them too. Minute nine, aces up 41 to seven. Here's Somerset coming out first and 10 at the 35. Bruner looking and can't reel it in was the receiver number two, uh, Isaiah Lewis, an incomplete. He did Might catch have got it. it if he hadn't bobbled it, yeah. maybe. All right, here comes uh, Somerset. Second and 10 at the 35. Clock stopped with a minute four to play in the second quarter. Aces lead 41 to seven. Here's a handoff, Cam off to the left side, has a nice running room and blockers. Down the sideline he goes and is pushed out of bounds at the 30 for a gain of about, is that 20, about 35 yards? Yeah, 34, yeah. And uh, the Aces just got pinned inward. He bounced it out. And then a nice bounce out, yeah, and darted down the left sideline. And they'll have first and 10 at the 32 of Catholic with 55 seconds to play in the half. Aces lead 41 to seven. Bruner fakes that handoff, looking left all the way. And oh, Tut just blows up uh, Chris awesome Hughes two. on the reception. And that was an easy one for him to come in on because uh, the quarterback never moved his eyes. He stayed locked in on Hughes the whole way. And we've got a timeout Somerset with 42.4 seconds to play. Aces lead 41 to seven. Uh, I'd like to thank a few people. First off, Drew Hardesty over at Wonder Boy Media uh, for getting us going live stream and for uh, Josh Henry upstairs for uh, filming this whole thing for us. Uh, it's been, uh, been great and I'm glad we could provide the um, a live stream for everybody for playoffs. Um, you guys can see when the camera shows that this, this stadium is absolutely packed. Uh, we got people wrapped around and uh, standing and bleachers are full. I mean, this is great to see. You should be like that every week. Um, pretty good. All right, 42 seconds to go before halftime. Aces lead 41 to seven and Somerset's looking at a second and 12 at the Catholic 32 yard line. Well, yeah, second and 10, because they got that first down, so. That's second. All right, second and 10. Wonder if they just spotted him right at the line of scrimmage, so he never lost anything on that first down play. Bruner looking left. Fakes, tries oh, to go him. deep, and intercepted by Tuck Carrico. That a boy, right down to the one yard line. And that's what his sixth or seventh interception on the year, and Tuck read that awesome. I mean, that's a linebacker following a receiver, and he hung with him stride for stride. Tuck Carrico, a Hillsdale, Michigan D2 commit, will go and play for them next year. He's one of the best players in this area, easily. All right. All around, all around player. Yeah. He's probably, yeah. Yeah, he's a messenger inquired defensive player of the year, and you see what he does offensively too. Right. <laughs> Crazy. Out, all right, Somerset's going to take a timeout with 35.7 seconds to go. This timeout is brought to you by Blue Star Restoration. We'll stay here. Uh, thank you to Bullet Home Solutions, Consolidated Mechanical, uh, Chamois, Tropical Smoothie, Donato's, 323 Staffing, Robert Edge from Farm Bureau, Bluegrass Home Inspections, Katie Goins from Edward Jones. 
uh, Town Square Animal Hospital, Robert Ash from Farm Bureau, Triple Crown Realty, Cottage Wealth Advisors, Ohio Valley Insurance, and Dr. John Hammond from Rollins World Center for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Stick with us, folks, at halftime. Um, we'll have stats brought to you by Rick's Tire and Auto. 35.7 seconds to play in the second quarter. Aces lead 41-7, to but that interception has them on the one-yard line. Play resumes at first and 10 for the Aces. So that's the second interception thrown by Bruner on the night. An interception by Frick I and mean, one by right Tuck. on the one-yard line. Yeah. I think it was probably a. Yeah, it should have been, been, I think, too. Atwell throws. Hey, finds. Long way to go. Finds Tut. And Tut's still spinning on his feet, sidestepping Briar jumpers, and all the way to the 22, 23-yard line for a gain of. 24. Yeah, and Catholic's going to call a timeout and stop the clock. I bet they're going to try to drive and get a field goal, Nick, if I had. You know, that way you can try to get some reps in on that. And Catholic gets the first down on that play and out of, out of the shadow of their own goal post. <coughs> 27 seconds to go. And those games, I'm getting Drew Hardesty updates from Wonderboy Media. Uh, the games that uh, we have interest in, OHS is down 24 to nothing at half. And Mayfield leads Beachwood 28-14 at halftime. So... Uh, that Mayfield Beachwood game, I tell you what, it's nearly impossible What's to go down to Mayfield. He got uh, 22 on the catch. Tut's had a heck of a game tonight. Oh my gosh. Holy cow! Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Yeah, you'll get you'll to we'll total let everybody there, know. Yeah, until the, you know they get done with the ball there. All right, coming out of this timeout, Aces are looking at a first and ten at their own 23-yard line, up 41 to seven. 27 seconds to play in the second quarter. It'll be Somerset football to start the third. I'd look for that out and that uh, lateral at the end. Be pretty good <laughs> yeah. Luck, but not at this end of the field, I don't think. Yeah. All right, trips formation. They're going to switch safety, so two high safety. And a big-time cushion on the Aces receivers. That well could have rolled out to his – right now connects and rolls out to his left push out of bounds and uh, aces fans want a late hit out of bounds ball was, uh, it was all in yeah the, all in the f in the motion, motion of, of the, the tackle play. yep yep good call and that uh, brings it to the 36 yard line for a gain of 13 and another first down it stops the clock with 20 seconds all right they they got a good ways to go and they're playing. <laughs> Look at they're playing like a pre -dance. They need to get about 45 yards to get in field goal range. Yeah. Atwell throws that screen. Oh, ah. and can't connect to Miles Edge. Stops the clock with 19-2. He might have had some room there, yeah. I think. Tough, though. I mean, they're playing almost three safeties. Oh, yeah, they're playing. They got three dudes back. Keeping everything in front of them. In fact, they're still that scooting should, back. Should, if you complete that, that negates that uh, rush. Yeah. All right, and here's uh, Brady Atwell. Darted in, in trouble, trying to throw, and can't. Was intended for out or for Reinerson, and incomplete. Will bring up third and 10 with 11.7 to go in the second quarter. Remember, it's 41-7 to seven Catholic. Little pressure on Atwell. They 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 can pin their ears back. Yeah. They know for a hundred percent we're going. You know. Yeah. It's throw going to it. throw. Yep. We're going to throw it seventy percent of the time anyway. Catholic's got to get protection. Receiver screen set up for Deuce Sims. Sims has yeah, the bounds. first down and headed for the out of bounds sideline. We're going to see a. Hail Mary, yeah, yeah, four. I think so. Catholic does get the first down across midfield for a gain of 15 on the play. And uh, we'll bring up first and 10 at the Somerset 49 with four seconds to go. You just run a bunch of verticals and see what happens. Who's in there at the slot? I can't see. Ooh, 
And number, number 10, that's Hudson Ebelhair into the game for the Aces. The brother of Warren Ebelhair, who's been out for about a quarter. Yeah, I haven't seen him over there on the on the sidelines. He is that what's worrying me. That penalty on Somerset takes it to the 44. Aces take another timeout. <clears throat> and we'll stay here with it. Uh, 4.2 seconds to play in the second quarter. The Aces lead 41 to 7. But looking at a first and five at the 44 yard line. We come so out of the break. I, I, all I can see is a Hail Mary here. You know, yeah. Uh, you know, in college, in the NFL, they might run something like a two-second quick hitter that's right near the sideline to get them five, six more yards. But, but they're not even going to be near. I free, don't see free, that uh, happening. Free throw. Uh, <laughs> Phil go. go. Yeah. All right, your three receivers are Hudson, Ebelhair, Reinerson, and Frick on this right side. And the far side is Deuce Sims. And then uh, Miles Edge to the left of Atwell. So no Warren Ebelhair and no Tuck Carrico. And Atwell set on in for a Hail Mary. And gets rid of it. Man, he's got the arm to do it. And oh! oh! Ryderson almost it, caught that. It was in his It hand. was in his belly. Yeah, he almost pulled it in. And that'll put us to the half. Your score at halftime, folks. At halftime, folks, it's Owensboro Catholic 41, Somerset 7. We're going to take about a two-minute break on Mixler. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're going to hear about two minutes of silence as we play commercials for those that are listening on Mixler. We'll be right back at the half. It's the Aces 41, Somerset 7, Owensboro Catholic Sports Network.
Welcome back, folks. Here at the uh, Once World Catholic Sports Network, the Aces lead at the half, 41-7. to seven. They can come in. Come in here. 41-7, uh, to seven. Catholic jumped out on them real quick. Uh, 28 to nothing before uh, Somerset was able to get on the board. And then uh, Catholic comes right back and gets that touchdown back. Tried to go for two and couldn't convert. And that's where we sit 41 to 7. These stats are brought to you by Blue Star Restoration. All right. Uh, look at the uh, Somerset Briar Jumpers. They ran the ball 15 times for 87 yards, uh, led by Cam Hughes. 10 carries for 63. Excuse me, 63 yards. Uh, Bruner had four carries for 22, and Chris Hughes had one for two yards. Throwing the ball, he was three of 11 with two interceptions for eight yards. Aces doing really good on the coverage. Uh, two interceptions in that first half. So less than 100 yards in the first half. 87 yards rushing on really two big runs by uh, uh, Cam Hughes. Then you come to the Aces. The Aces rushed the ball 12 times for 72 yards. Atwell with seven carries for 45. Vince Carrico, two for 14. Blair, one for 13. Edge for one for five. And Noah Reinerson, minus five. Atwell was 26 of 37 for 378 yards here in the first half. Incredible first half, 26 of uh, 37. Mitchell Sims had four catches for 60 yards. Kaiser Frick had three for 32. Uh, Warren Ebelhair had three for 70. Reinerson had four for 32. Blair had one for 11. And Tut Carrico had 10 receptions for 168 yards. Just a great offensive output by the Aces. And really a good defensive, except for one series in the uh, first half where they drove the ball right down the field, made a couple of good runs. And here's the scoring as it went. First first quarter at the 10-21 mark, Atwell to Tuck Carrico, 11 yards. Garvin's kick good, 7 to nothing. 706 7 mark, Atwell to Tut Carrico again, 35 yards, extra point good, 14 to nothing. 419 in the first quarter. Atwell to Evil Hair, 31 yards. Extra point good, 21 nothing. Then Atwell to Tut Carrico again. Three touchdown passes to Tut in the first quarter at three second mark of the first quarter. Extra point good, 28 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Then you had 619. Cam Hughes, Did you? 18 yard run. Extra point good, 28 to 7. Uh, nice little run for um, Hughes bouncing it to the outside. Then at the 319 mark, Atwell, one yard run, extra point good, 35 to seven. Then Atwell with a minute nine in the half to Tut Carrico again, 14 yards, extra point. They try to go for two, no good, 41 to seven. And that's where we ended it with an incredible First quarter, first half. Well, yeah, the first, first quarter was great. Yeah, for the Aces. Thank you. Three hundred and <laughs> three hundred and seventy-eight <laughs> yards in the first half. Say that one more time for the other listeners that weren't listening. Three hundred and eighty-seven yard or seventy-eight yards is what in the first is what Atwell threw in the first half. 26 of 37. Tut had 168 on 10 carries. 168. 10 Oof, 168 on 10 catches and three touchdowns, correct? Four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. Yeah. 
a hell of a first half. <laughs> Atwell has five touchdowns. He had the, he had the one run. Yard, one yard run to yeah. punch it in. So, and uh, Evil Hair has a touchdown. Oh, yeah. And that, yeah. He had the 31 yarder. And uh, just a tremendous offensive output. Had 72 yards rushing on 12 carries. So, they had 450 something yards in the uh, first half. Crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, that's a game's worth of yards. You get that in a half, are you kidding me? You know, the so, Aces are doing really well, and their defense has been sensational tonight. They have two they have interceptions. One, one drive, they, uh, Somerset put together a good drive. Right after the fumble. Uh, and, right, yep. and they got the ball right at midfield. Yeah. Or 40, yeah. 49-yard line Right or near it. You know, and, and I they think took they took advantage of it. That's sure what did. a good team does. Turn over, take advantage of mm -hmm. it. What do we do with Answered right back. Answered right back. Yeah. Got two back-to-back -back interceptions. And, and scored on both of them. Mm -hmm. we well, played. scored on one of them. The other one was at the one, and they couldn't get down in time to right at the end oh, of yeah, the half. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, but either way, stopped Somerset from getting any sort of momentum because, remember, we talked about it. Somerset the ball, had the ball to start the third – or has the ball to start the third quarter. and A score there before the half and then a score again to start the third. Heck, you're cooking now, and it's a ball game all of a sudden. Uh, but right now we're just outside of that uh, mandated running clock by the KHSAA. It's 41-7, to 7, you know, and Catholic's putting yeah, it on Somerset. That's what, I was, uh, think, that's what I was thinking here. Aces need to get a stop and get, score. get another score. Yeah. Uh, Let it run. I've been really, really impressed with the offense and the defense. I mean, just, I mean, just a complete package. Uh, I, hope, I hope Warren Evil Hair is that's, all right. You know, that was the next thing out of my mouth. I was a little – I'm worried about if – how Tut, if Tut's 100%. But, we, you know, we were out here and we called Hudson Evil Hair's number wearing number 10. But, in fact, that was Tut Carrico who, when he got his interception right at the goal line, jersey was ripped. So, he ran off to the sideline to put on uh, uh, number 10, Hudson Evil Hair's jersey. And I'm wondering if he'll still have that out there. That was why they had to call that timeout. They called the timeout to inform the officials that hey, we have a we have a jersey change. Right. And so Tut's wearing number ten for those that are watching at home. That's what he was wearing headed into the half. I don't know if that's the same uh, coming out and to start I the third. I don't know if we'll see him, but he needs if he he's still moving on that ankle, and I'm hoping yeah. they, they I'm sure they iced him and taped it and, and at half to everything get else. Everything, I'm, I'm concerned about Warren Ebel here. Yeah, because yeah, he's a big-time player for these aces, and Catholic needs all, all hands on deck, you oh, know, yeah. and and to not have him out there hurts. Now Frick has stepped in admirably, and Frick is very good, right, at receiver, but you know he's more of a slot type of guy. He remind, he's very similar to what uh, Ronerson would do, very skilled, quick. Whereas uh, Evil Hair has kind of stretched the field along with uh, Do Sims, and then Tut just does everything, all of it, yeah. All the above. Yeah. Uh, as you guys could see on the uh, scoreboard there, just under a minute and a half before we get the third quarter underway, and I think they'll add about another three minutes to uh, stretch. Somerset has yet to take the field uh, for the third quarter, and they're coming in there regrouping because you can hear the Somerset faithful in front of us. They're they're frustrated. You know, they they thought some calls didn't go their that, way. That's, they, that's, they're not used to getting run out of a field like they are right now, and that this is not – customary to what they see every Friday night. And it's, it's you know, the frustrations caused by the Aces. Their ability to move the ball up and down the field at will and then, you know, the defense pretty much almost shut them out in that first half. Yeah. They got a good, good drive by their and a good run by the quarterback. Had a good run in there and then uh, Cam Hughes had a good one, and uh, so here we are, forty-one to seven, with uh, Somerset getting the ball yeah. to start the third quarter. They're just now uh, coming out onto the field. Tut's wearing number eighty. Okay, so uh, they have switched up the the jersey now. So he put on ten to finish the half when he went out to the. Locker room, they've got 80 
which Catholics wearing their alternate jerseys. This isn't something they're going to have multiple duplicate numbers of, which is why. So Tuck coming out, wears his standard nine. It got ripped. He's in 80 now. Okay, so if if they had brought out an 80 and nobody told me, I'd be like, who is this kid right. that we recruited we out of the no stands? <laughs> numbers yeah. at all. Look, there's not an 80 yeah. in the Catholic number system. Yeah, you know, just to any, kind of – Any 80 or 90. To repeat the half that Atwell and – Tuck Carrico are having. And um, and they show why they're the offensive player in this yeah. area. Atwell, 26 of 37 for 378 yards and, and five touchdowns. And actually six total touchdowns. And then Tuck Carrico is 10 catches for 168 yards and four touchdowns in one half. Hey, those are video game numbers. That's what I did back in college whenever I would, like, stay up well, late and not he, go to here's class a, Here's a good example of who Tut is. Messenger Inquirer had him as defensive, defensive player of the year. Yeah. Uh, but hope you wear number 80. the t- uh, radio station had him as the offensive <laughs> player of the year <laughs> yeah. in the area. Yeah. So, you know, that just tells you everything you need to know about about that. Yeah, you know, it, it tells you what, what type of uh, – Yeah, we're not – we won't – yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, just getting word, now, we won't go into detail, but we won't, probably won't see Warren Ebel here for the rest of the game. We'll just kind of let, let him sit and figure things out. And about what's going on with that situation, but uh, once again, at well, or uh, Tut is eighty. That face mask. Yep. So he got his head jerked around, and he might, be, you know, there's no telling what. Uh, no telling. All we can do is speculate, and I even hate to do just, that. And pray for him, folks, yeah. and pray for all these young men on both sides of the ball. Uh, they play a nasty old game. Ben. Sure do, you know, and it's a game that that is very uh, in the moment, but twenty years from now. That moment catches up to you. Yeah. And for those that are in the Bad grind. knees. Yeah, <laughs> knees. I'm telling you, knees, back, hips, yep. you know, head head concussions that settle in later in life. You know, it just uh, – it's a game that's so rewarding in the moment, but it does does uh, do some things to the body in the, uh, later on in life. So, uh, 10 seconds to go before we get the third quarter underway. It's the Aces 41, Somerset 7. Catholic will be kicking off to the Briar Jumpers to start the third quarter. As we prepare for the second half, Garvin is set to kick off for the Aces. All right, you know, so Somerset comes out. They're pretty pumped to start this third quarter, so it must have been a rousing halftime talk there by Coach Clevenger for uh, Somerset. Aces just have to continue to take care of business. Uh, We'll see what type of adjustments both teams came out with. The team that really has to adjust the most is obviously Somerset, down 41-7. to We'll see what they do. Fielded at the 26-yard line. And push nice out of bounds. Nice tackle over there by number 16, Frick. <laughs> Late, you know, oh. Who's down? A uh, briar jumper. Ah. Uh. We've got an official's timeout. And on a return, a uh, Somerset player, I, I it was number it 11. Was number eight? Or well, who, eight uh, was the, or 11 was the return man, Caden Samala. Yeah, and uh, th- well, this timeout, you know, injury timeout, uh, breaking the any action is brought to you by Blue Star Restoration. I'd like to thank here in the third quarter, Bullet Home Solutions, Consolidated Mechanical, Bluegrass Home Inspections, Katie Goins from Edward Jones, Town Square Animal Hospital, Dr. John Hammond, the Lonesboro Center for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Ohio Valley Insurance, Cottage Wealth Advisors, Triple Crown Realty Group, Robert Edge from Farm Bureau, 323 Staffing, Donato's, Chamois, uh, Tropical Smoothie, and, uh, of course, Josh Henry upstairs for filming this for us. And uh, Drew Hardesty at Wonder Boy Media, whom everyone uh, see, takes a look at the logo. If you're uh, watching on YouTube, that's his business. Uh, if you need 
any sort of service that he can provide, please check him out. i uh, also like to give a shout-out to um, Jason Speaks, I believe. Yes, Jason Speaks, a Somerset fan who's uh, on our YouTube stream giving us updates about Mayfield Beachwood. Uh, OHS is down 31 nothing in the third, and Mayfield, same stats as before. They're up 21-14 over Beachwood. So that old rivalry between Bowling Green and Owensboro, man, ending each other's seasons. Good to see number 11, uh, Samala, up and off the field on his own power. Play resumes. Somerset has a first and 10. Ball is final on the 30-yard line. All right. See if they uh, stay with the ground game with Hughes. He found a little bit of uh, running room uh, late in that second quarter, or if they decide to air it out. Hughes will move left to right of uh, Bruner, and they'll hand off to him, trying to bounce off and nothing. Man, hit right at the line of scrimmage. There was three aces just right there. Tut. And Tut and uh, Vince. Vince was on that <laughs> yeah. one. All right, second and nine for the Briar Jumpers. Uh, coming on 11 and a half to play in the third. We're just starting this second half. Aces lead 41 to 7 if you've just tuned in. Uh, three receivers. And they'll pull it out of the belly of Hughes and a quick out uh, to who's that number three on the far side, uh, Chaz Reams. Yeah. And got about got about four. Yeah. And they're going to bring up seven or third and probably a long three or so for them. And Bruner is running to the sideline each time between plays to get. They're in no hurry. Yeah. Aces fans, it's third. All right, so the Aces fans have got to get going. Uh, Mr. Phil Hare on the PA uh, trying to rouse them awake. All right. Toss right to Hughes. Hughes oh. is swallowed up. We'll see if he's down or if that spin at the last moment gave him the first. It probably did. Yeah, and he gets four on the carry. He got it just right at it. Just yeah. fell on the line. That run gives him the first, takes it to the 40. Uh, they'll move Hughes left to right of Bruner, and they'll go out with a three receiver set, and they'll fake it, pull it out, connected. Big time hit by, who was that, Frick on the far side? Yeah. Nice crushing hit. By Frick connected to Josh Lewis. And uh, but it gives them five on the play. So they're just doing this little quick game stuff. They're not trying to air it out. It's almost like a decent run for them. When they've tried to throw it downfield, Ace has been picking it off. So a second and five. Yeah, the only, uh, you know, the quick outs is what they've had some success yeah. with. Right. Catholic has that cushion. They're not trying to play press coverage. Here's Hughes. Hughes, oh, man, boned up. No gain. Nice job there by Edge or, yes, Edge. Yeah, man, that was nice hit. Uh, Hughes is not a small runner by any means. And that's going to bring up third and five. We're missing uh, You know who we're missing out there on all uh, defense? Burns. Yeah. Burned yeah, they got Burns and – or they have uh, the Caracos, Edge, Blair, Bruner pulling out of the belly, throws it over the middle and intercepted by Nick Sims. And Sims returned it to the other side of midfield. What a great catch in traffic by Sims. That was awesome. 
Threw it right over, man. He, you know, he tried to thread the needle there, Nick, and threw it in traffic where a couple aces defenders and Nick Sims gets him a pick, returns it to midfield, actually to the 49 of Somerset, where the aces will have a short field on their first series of the half. At well at the 49. Yeah. Quick and out. And connects to Frick to the 43-yard line for a gain of six on the reception. Yeah, 42, so seven on the catch. Nice route run. We won't see Warren Evil here the rest of this half, rest of the game. A high snap handed off to Vince. Vince Carrico trying to get pushed from behind to get any sort of forward progression, but the high snap messed up the timing just a little bit. Maybe a yard, probably no gain on the play. It's going to bring up third and three. Under nine we go in the third quarter. Aces lead 41-7. to seven. Atwell looking left, throws that way, connects to Reinerson for a first down. Gain about 12. Mm-hmm. Second out of bounds by Hughes. That play was good enough for another Owensboro Catholic. First to team aces. <laughs> All right, Atwell again. Aces running tempo. Quick to the line. Throwing deep and intended for Frick. And Frick cut the route off. I think just a miscommunication and incomplete. Blair in to replace Edge in the backfield. Two and two. Uh, quick out to Quick Sims. out to Sims. Sims. Man, look at there. See where he stepped out of bounds. It's close to the sticks. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, got the first. Got 10 on the catch. All right, trips to the right this time. In the backfield is Blair. Atwell looking left, uh, going through his progressions. Now he's sending a guy on the oh, run. If he throws it, nope. the ball was deflected, almost intercepted. You know, he was sending Sims down the sideline. It's like a – and I use this point. I use this basketball analogy. When you dribble towards a player in basketball, that means they got to cut through. Right. And that's exactly what Atwell was doing. He was running towards the receiver. That receiver's got to head down the field. All right, second and 10 coming up at the 22-yard line. All right, second and 10. Atwell setting up, setting up the screen to do Sims. Sims skirting through Somerset defenders, tackled by the shoestrings, and down to the 16. Gain of six on the play. All right, a third and four at the Somerset 16. Inside the red zone they go. Atwell looking to his right, throws that way. Oh, oh. almost a one-handed catch he caught by it. Tuck Carrico. They're going to say it bounced. Oh, did it? And then he caught it off the bounce, and that will bring up fourth down. We'll see if the kicking team can kick him a uh, field goal here. It's going to be a 26, probably a 33-yard field goal coming up. Field goal of 33 by Garvin. He is 0 for 2 on the year, 0 for 1 on the year. 0 for 1. Yeah. I think. This one's a 33-yarder. Kick is up. And good. That away. Garvin on a 33-yard field goal. Makes it 44 to 7. And the Aces have that running clock going now. How many yards was that again? A 33-yard field goal by Garvin at the 7.53 mark. Makes it 44-7. to Aces lead. <clears throat> and uh, the mandated KHSAA uh, running clock will 
kick in here at the 7.53 mark of the third quarter. <laughs> All right. What a good – that was a nice kick. Great hold. Oh, you know, they shorted it up. Best know. kick he's had all year. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like it. Just talking to the coaching staff, I knew that they had shored that up. I even asked Jason straight up. I'm like, hey, man, what's up with the field goal and extra points that were getting blocked and stuff? Well, he's like, I know Our guys, he worked on it really hard last week. Yes, he said their stances were too tight. And the guys were able to get around them. He said when we widened out our stances, it, it, it prevented those guys. They had to make a wider turn, which slowed them down. Yep. Here we go. Garvin kicking off, and he's going to kick it. Short to – Filled it at the 25. This one to Samala again. And uh, he just runs out of bounds. Yeah, he, he's looking at Frick again. Yeah. All right, seven and a half in counting. The clock is rolling now between uh, when it would normally be stopped. 44 to seven, your score aces lead. Remember, the winner of this game. And the winner of Mayfield and Beachwood meet at Kroger Field next Friday. Three o'clock our time. Yep. So we'll uh, let's get this thing. Yeah. Finish out of the this way. one out. Play a complete game here, folks. All right. Handoff, Cam. Hughes, and Hughes is trying to squirt out and make something out of nothing there, and he does. Gets about six on the carry. I uh, got another update. Mayfield leads 28-21, so Beachwood has scored on the Cardinals, and uh, they've cut it to a touchdown, 28-21 in the third quarter. They could light it up quick with that passing game. Yeah. All right, second and four. Hand off to. Off to Cam Hughes, trying to bounce on the right side. Good tackle. Who was it back there? Miles Edge. Great job wrapping up around the shoestrings, and he doesn't allow Hughes to turn and get that corner, and then he could kick in that speed. Yeah, I haven't seen Burns, like I say, in the game either. And that's going to bring a third and long. Third and six for Somerset. No, he's in there now. Yeah, Burns is in there now, yep. In place and, of Tut. No, in place of uh, Blair. Uh, Blair's oh, out Blair's there, yeah. Blair's out there. Okay, I'm sorry. He's in there in place of Tut. I think that's probably a good substitution. You don't – I mean, Burns is good. Oh, he's – There's not – hardly any drop-off you know, with those linebackers. He's, he's very, very good, quick and strong. All right, Bruner looking to throw. He's patting him down all the way. Ball has a lot of air underneath it. And good, man. I'll tell you what, that receiver had to play defense on that one. Good job of punching that out by the receiver and preventing an interception. He throws it way too high. Gives yeah. everybody a chance to converge yeah. on the football. A lot of air underneath his tosses. And like I said, gives that defense time to gather I up under it. I think that's about the limit of his arm, though. Mm -hmm. Plus, he, he is uh, thrown into the wind a little bit. Under five minutes, running clock here. Ace is up 44-7. to seven. Somerset's looking at a fourth and six, and the punt team is out there. Tuck Carrico wearing 80, back to receive. High snap, good catch by 13, Cam Hughes, but he boots it off the right side of his foot, and the Aces uh, have good, uh, good field position. Yep. Mm -hmm. At the 42. Atwell and company back out onto the field, leading 44-7 to and a running clock, 4.15 to play in the third quarter. Defense has been, I mean, just unbelievably good tonight, Nick. Yeah, Cam Woodward's in the, in the game now uh, at the slot over on the left. Yeah, so no Reinerson out there. You still have Tut, Frick, and Deuce Sims as your other uh, three receivers. To go along with Edge in the backfield, and Atwell, your quarterback. Uh, center is Pride, and he's been sensational all year. Oh, Fry, Girton. Yeah, all those guys. R R Ritter. Ryder, yeah. Ryder. Connection to Frick, and Frick is tackled down to the 35 for a gain of seven on the play. It's 
it's going to bring up a third or a second and three for the Aces. <coughs> And Catholic in no sense of urgency here, given the numbers they have. And a late substitution coming on. You got Noah Onan to replace Frick. Onan, great hands. Tall receiver. He's about 6'3", 6'4". Junior he'll for Catholic. He'll be the deuce, deuce. Yeah, he'll be the deuce sims of next year. All right, Atwell throwing long cross field. Oh. And a tough catch in play. Who was that for Woodward? Yeah, and uh, incomplete. Brings up a third and a long two for Catholic. 240 and counting in this ball game, or in the third quarter, rather. Uh, Ambergee will come in and replace Tuck Carrico. So the Aces are slowly moving those starters out one at a time. I think you'll, this will be the last we see of that well. Yeah, Stephen E's in at right uh, tackle. A good toss out to the backfield to Miles Edge. Has the first down and a little bit more. Streaking down the sideline is Miles Edge, and he's pushed out of bounds inside the 10. We'll see where they mark that out. Oh, they're going to have him at the 14 for a gain of 21 out of the backfield. Nice job, Edge. When he caught it, Nick, you saw that second gear he hit. <laughs> yeah, he's – what was the what, – what 21 on the catch. Nice, nice. First and 10 at the 14, under minute 50 to go in the third quarter. Give it to him again. Swing pass again. Yeah, you might be able to throw it up to Onan here or toss right. <laughs> Or swing pass this way. Yeah. Man in motion is a Woodward. Woodward catches the pitch right in front of him. Has good blocking. Good job, Onan. Now trying to streak Hold it up. Hold on to it now. Hold and on. And stymied by that Briar jumper defense. Woodward ball carrier. But gets several on the play. Gets about eight on that carry. Or uh, that's actually a pass. Gets eight on the completion. Ball is going to be spotted about the six-yard line. So down, down to the seven is what they call that. So seven on the pass play officially. Uh, end of the game for the Aces, number three, uh, Riley Harville. He'll replace Woodward. And the last starting receiver to still be out there for the Aces is uh, Deuce Sims, and I expect him to catch one here on the tight twins formation near the back pylon. That defense is sucked in towards the line of scrimmage. Here it comes, Nick. Throwing towards Sims. Oh, just oh, right out of his, his off the top of his hands. And now they'll sub him out. Sims will stay in, but they do replace Edge with, with uh, Kel Cavillan, a hard-running junior for the Aces, coming in. And it's going to bring up a third and three and take us to the end of the third quarter with that running clock. So one more quarter to play for these Aces. Uh, to move on to play in Lexington, Kentucky, Krogerfield against the winner of Mayfield and Beachwood. One more quarter to go. Guys, still stay strong. Your score after three, it's Catholic 44, Somerset 7. We'll step away for a commercial break on Mixler. Be right back on World Catholic Sports Network. All right, welcome back, folks. Orange World Catholic Sports Network got a quarter to play. Twelve minutes to decide who's going to win this semifinal matchup. The Aces are well in control, though, 44-7 to seven and a running clock. Winner moves on to play at the University of Kentucky, Kroger Field. Aces looking to get there for the first time since 2010. A third and three at the seven. Here's Atwell coming in, Cavillan to his left. Atwell throwing a... Fade route Sims. to Sims and overthrows oh, him again. Overthrows. 
And that's going to bring, uh, let's see if the field goal team comes out or not, or if they'll go for it on fourth. It brings up a fourth and three. W again, the clock is still moving due to the um, running clock mandated if you're up to 36 or more points. There go, go. See if he can hit Sims this time. Yeah. Third 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 time's a charm on that out. Yeah. Let's see. Atwell looking to throw it out. He checks off of it and trying to connect on the near side to Ambergian just out of his way. Somerset did a good job of shutting that one up. Uh, just looking at a little bit. Somerset, the most points they've given up all year was 34 to Campbellsville. And that's it. And uh, Camp is one of the top. Yeah, they're they're playing teams. they're playing right now in the semifinals. Uh, they actually lost to Pikeville, 28-21. <coughs> well, oh, Louisville Trinity beat Frederick Douglass 14 to seven in overtime. Wow. Yeah, but that was a heck of a game. All right, so this is, the Aces have put the most points on Somerset that they've given up all year. They've not been running clocked at all year. Uh, they've never surrendered this amount of points all year, and the Aces have done it offensively. Oh, nice job by number 15, Blair, and number four, Vince Carrico. Yeah, who Blair else? Blair stepped in, broke down, wrapped him up, and, and I mean, uh, Vince come and it's awesome. took, took the rest of it out. All right, here we go. Second and nine. Coming up for the uh, Briar Jumpers. Got some couple of new guys in on the line there. I'll get them to you here in a minute. Motion, uh, fakes it to the motion man, and wrapped up for a, maybe a yard gain is uh, Hughes. Getting some wholesale changes in there. Got Vince out there. Uh, let me get some of these new guys in here for you. Uh, Hunter Young's in there, a defensive line. Number ten. Uh, I'm trying to see who it is. Fifty nine. Fifty nine still in there. Concrete. Uh, other side. Muster. You got uh, Burns playing middle linebacker. Amberger is another one. Hand off to, oh, nice job. Gets about four more yards to about the 15. And that will bring up fourth down. Uh, number 19's in the game. Jude Cecil at corner. The other corner looks like number 14. Jack Byrne, Ambergie's in there. All right, they're going for it, fourth. And he's going to get it. Nice run for about 10 yards. Right, first down. They're at the 30 or 25 yard line. Aces have all new players in there except for Jack Burns. Or uh, a nice run there for about 15 yards by Cam Hughes. All, they still got their varsity uh, ball players out there. Aces have all new people in there except for uh, Edge and Burns. Got a new guy, uh, free safety. I'm trying to see who that is. That hand. 27. Yeah. Yep, 
Jacob Hammond in for that free safety there. Handoff, new running back. Yeah, number four. Gulak. And not much doing on that carry. Well. They're going to get Cam. Did they get Cam Hughes out of the game? I thought they he had a big rounding of, round of applause. But I don't see him yeah, on the side. Yeah, he is. He's right down here. Okay. It's a heck of a running back is uh, Hughes for Somerset. And uh, he just Somerset just ran into a juggernaut tonight. Catholic's been great. Held him to about ball. 87 yards in the first half. Uh, they're going to Six minutes. throw the ball, and he's got number. Oh, good catch. Good throw. And a big, big pass catch play there to uh, Reams. And uh, Jude Cecil on the tackle for the Aces, and that's their biggest play of the night. About 35 yards or so. Yeah. And their uh, Aces JV defense is out there for the most part. Yeah. I, I ran through mo yeah. all of them that were in here at the moment. Under a five and a half to play in the game. Catholic up 44 to seven. Four receivers, twins left and right. Bruner looking right, throws and oh, over the head of Reams and out of bounds. Five minutes and counting here. 44 to seven, the Aces lead. Five more minutes. See if the Aces can buckle down here. They still got their quarterback in there and their offensive line. Yeah. And all the receivers, I guess. I think the only thing that's changed is they got uh, Reams in the – or uh, – Gulak, in, Gulak in the backfield instead of uh, Cam Hughes. Big senior for them, over 2,000 yards rushing on the season. Yeah, he did go over two, mm -hmm. uh, 200 yards this year. All right, they're moving some pieces around. Hand out to Gulak. Gulak, oh. or rather that's uh, Chris Hughes, the brother of Cam. And Chris will dart forward and get – about eight on the carry. And that'll bring up third and two for the Briar Jumpers. Uh, coming on four minutes to play in the game. Under four minutes here. Briar Jumpers threatening here. All right, slow to the line. They got 10 seconds on the play clock to get something off here. 335 to play in the game. It's 44 to seven aces. Briar Jumpers looking at a third and two. They got two seconds to get it off, but they do just in time. Hand off Chris Hughes, darting forward, bowling over aces JV and into the end zone for a nine yard touchdown run. Cam Hughes got one in the first half and brother Chris gets one here late in the ball game. Makes it 44 to 13 aces. Waiting for an extra point by Somerset. They're going for two, aren't Are they? Are they going for two? Yeah. Under center is Bruner. They're in two backs in going the backfield and oh. throwing it right over. Great job. And the two-point conversion is completed. They did almost like a little Tim Tebow. 324 mark of the uh, final quarter here. Aces 44, Somerset 15. Looking for an onside kick uh, as Somerset comes out there. They're trying to get something cooking, but uh, it is a running clock. Is that to Reams? Uh, it was to Hughes out Hughes. of the backfield there. Well, no, I'll take that back. It was to Reams. Three twenty-four. Both teams, special teams, are out there to kick off. Yeah. 
and they're bringing an extra guy up to the initial line to uh, have more more guys on the up front to uh, recover an onside kick. It's JV though. Yeah, JV whole JV eleven out on the field for Catholic. Not a live stream, though. All right. And they'll kick it deep. Mitchell with it? No. Fielded by, uh, oh, decent little return. Fielded by number 26 for the Aces, Colin Howard. And uh, we'll get to see second string offense for the Aces. Uh, Dremel Carruthers is out there. That's an evil hair. Riley Harville in the backfield is Kel Cavillan. Man, what an experience, Nick. Cavillan in the backfield for Carruthers. Okay, that, he's watching that clock get down mm -hmm. under 10. Brothers, a quick out, nice catch. Who's that, number 12, Nick Sims? I can't see the number on the far side. Onan on the far side, 13 is what it was with the catch. <coughs> and he gets uh, seven on the, on the reception. And we're coming on two minutes to play in this ball game. Try to get a couple more numbers in here for you on some of these JV players. Yeah, Carruthers in no hurry, looking to the sideline with this play. He's still 12 on the play and clock. Hand off to Cavillon. Cavillon swallowed uh, up in the backfield. They were all over that one. <coughs> Cameron ball carriers. Minute and a half to go. For the Aces, move on to play in the 2A state championship game at Kroger Field. Next week at University of Kentucky. Friday at 3 o'clock Central, Central time. time. Yep. Take a week, get everybody healed up. Brothers trying to throw out of the backfield and incomplete. Final score, OHS, it l ends their season 38-6 to, to Bowling Green. And we're still in the fourth quarter. Mayfield leads Beachwood 28-21 in the fourth quarter. So a good game brewing oh, in yeah. uh, Mayfield. All right, we're going to be under coming up yeah. 10 seconds on the by the time this thing snaps. Man, what, this, is, this is great, Nick. It's awesome. You know, and the Aces kind of salted it away early in the in the game with 28 nothing. There's a hard count by Carruthers. That might end the ball game. That's going to end it. Yeah. yeah. And that'll be it. Well, they, sh they stopped the clock. Why are they stopping the clock? Just run that thing. Someone needs to tell Woody to hit play on that play clock. A five yard penalty on an illegal procedure or a uh, offense. And start that thing real quick. There we go. And now the Aces don't have to snap it at all. And that's going to be it, boys. That's, a, that's an excited bunch. Yes, it is. Chomping at the bit on the sideline. They're hyped. They're going to go play. Aces will move on and defeat a really good Somerset program, 44-15. to 15. Catholic be representing the city of Owensboro in the 2A state championship game. At Kroger Field next week, December 1st, on the campus of University of Kentucky. They'll move on to play the winner of Beachwood and Mayfield. And it has been a thrill to call these games for you here at Still Stadium and to provide a live stream for the entirety of the playoffs. However, when we when we uh, kick kick off next Friday, 
It'll be an audio only, folks. Uh, the KHSAA has all the rights to live streaming, so we cannot provide that for you. But uh, see ya. Uh, but we will have uh, we will have we'll be here on Mixler and we'll have it for you all the way. I'd really prefer you all fill the stands at Kroger Field and support these aces on a monumental season that they are having. Uh, unbelievable what they were able to do this year. Yeah, Ben. Uh, defense really showed out tonight. And, well, both both sides of the ball. The only thing that was a little lacking was the uh, uh, kickoff team. They gave up. Pretty good yardage there, but uh, all in all, they, the defense.